All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over the air conditioning condenser fan failure. And this is on an Airbus EC-135 helicopter with the Metro Aviation air conditioning installed, not the Airbus air conditioning. So if your air conditioning isn't working as good as it should be, and they don't really work that good to begin with, but they work better than nothing. It could be that one of your two condenser fans is not working correctly. And if that's the case, uh, then you got issues. So we're gonna go over that in this video. So underneath the condenser assembly, which is on the left-hand side of the helicopter, right behind the aft firewall of the left engine, there's a wire bundle under there that controls the condenser fan. There's a better look at it. The wires we're looking at are the red wire and the black wire. They power one of the two condensers. So you got to figure out which condenser condenser fan it is. They power either of the fans. So if you cut off that wax string and then you move that plastic clear cover out of the way, there are handshake connectors underneath there. And I found in the past that either one of the wires was broken or it was just corroded. So there wasn't getting enough current through it to make the make the fan run. So to check your fans, what you need to do is you need to get ground power and that simulates both generators are operating. You power on the helicopter, electrical power, then you turn on the air conditioner switch. And after about 20 seconds to three minutes, it's a time delay. It will turn on your air conditioning system and your air conditioning light will come on on your CAD. It will turn green. The two fans for the condenser will turn on. But if they look like this here, like on this video right here on the right side, the fan on the right is not operating. The fan on the left is just blowing air past the fins of the fan on the right, making it look like it's working, or make it spin like it's working, but it's not working at all, all right? So then you go take it off. So you get to the point where you need to replace it. We'll go over the part number and the maintenance manual also here in a minute. There's four screws that hold this thing on. It's not hard. You get to the wires. You just connect the wires like we talked about a second ago, and then you just take it out not not difficult and this one here it's super loose the fan is super loose on the shaft but if you go to the other old one that still works it is also not as loose but pretty loose and then if you look at a new fan assembly that fans on that shaft pretty tight it's not loose at all so maybe just barely loose all right so once you got the fan out you can look at it's on this one here it has the the data tag so it has the part number part number on the on the fan motor is 150194-00 and it's funny because right here it says it was made in august 30th of 04 that's almost well yeah that's over 20 years ago crazy so this thing lasted a while so this isn't gonna be something you're gonna deal with a lot but if your ac doesn't work check these fans and see if they're working you know what i mean all right so let's go in the metro metro manual we're gonna go in the drawing first which is drawing 7-ec135-2 and it's the condenser and fan assembly installation. So if you scroll down to the sheet that has the condenser fans and the shrouds and all the other parts that are on the condenser, there's eight pages in this drawing. Anyway, scroll down to the one that we're looking at. It's item number 12 for the fans. Then scroll back up and it gives you the part number. It's slightly different. It just doesn't have the dash at the end like it had on the data tag of the fan motor. So it's 150194000. Maybe that'll be an issue if you're ordering the part, depending on how your ordering system is. If you don't put in a dash or you do put in the dash, it may not come up either way. Just a heads up. All right, when do we inspect this air conditioning system? Well, let's go into Metro's equipment maintenance manual for the EC135 air conditioning. Uh, chapter five. So if you scroll down to the inspections, the time limit scheduled inspections. Number three is the intermediate inspection. So if we look at that, that says it's every 500 hours. They have a bunch of other inspections, periodical and a 12 month also. But the only part that it talks about the condenser is in the 500 hours. So scroll down to the section that they talk about here, 521006-3. And then scroll down to where it talks about the condenser. It says, do an inspection of the condenser. Reference the drawing we were just talking about. Make sure the condenser is in good condition, clean, and correct, correctly attached. Yeah, but that's just the condenser. Like, we're talking about the fans. Anyway, check the frame for condition, cleanliness, and security. 
Check visible portion of electrical harness for condition, cleanliness, and security. Check visible portion of plumbing for condition, cleanliness, security, and evidence of leaks. Nothing about the fan motors, okay? So what do you do? Uh, at the top where it has the binoculars, the search function, if you type in fan, what comes up? No matches found. So it doesn't really talk about the fan. They're just talking about the condenser assembly itself, which is everything. Anyway, doesn't tell you to look at the fan specifically, but look at it on your look at it during the intermediate 500 hour inspection. And if you have any problems with your air conditioning, this might be an issue. One of your condenser fans not working and your condenser isn't going to do the job that it's supposed to be doing. Cool. It's just a quick one, guys. Hope that helps you guys out in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.